COVID-19 has created an unprecedented demand for personal protective equipment, or PPE. Healthcare facilities and other workplaces that use PPE need to carefully monitor their inventory and plan for future needs. The CDC has created tools to help you accomplish that task. Any healthcare facility or workplace that uses PPE can use these tools. This includes healthcare systems such as hospitals and long-term care facilities, as well as quarantine stations, correctional facilities, fire departments, and more. With the NIOSH PPE Tracker app, you can track the amount of different types of PPE you have in stock each day, calculate your average consumption rate or burn rate of each type, and estimate and visualize how long your remaining PPE supply will last based on your facility's burn rate. This video shows you how you can use the NIOSH PPE Tracker app to track your PPE inventory and to understand how quickly it is being used. So download the app now and let's get started. The app has three main features, the calculator, the snapshot of the current inventory status, and the reports. To move between them, you can click the navigation tabs at the bottom. When you start the NIOSH PPE Tracker app for the first time, you will be prompted to enter basic details about your facility and your preferred PPE counting method. For this tutorial, we'll enter hospital as our facility type. Depending on the size of your facility, you can track the counting method for PPE by boxes or individual units. Smaller facilities with low PPE burn rates may opt to count by individual units for more accurate tracking. For example, a smaller facility might track the number of N95s they have in stock rather than the number of boxes of N95s. We'll select number of boxes for our counting method. After you've selected your facility type and counting method, tap continue. We'll begin by adding the number of confirmed or suspected COVID-19 patients in the facility at the start of the day. If you are at a facility that is not intended for COVID-19 patients, like an airport screening station or a correctional facility, you can choose Don't Know, Not Applicable. Now, we'll set up our PPE inventory. This screen allows you to add the different categories of PPE that you need to track. PPE type refers to the PPE components you have in stock. Gowns, gloves, respirators, surgical masks, and face shields have been added for you. If there are PPE components not listed that you want to track, select Add New Type, and then add the new type to the New Type entry field according to your inventory. We'll set the PPE type to Respirator. Set the brand to 3M, model to 1860, and units per box to 20. Finally, we'll save the entry. We'll repeat the process for gowns, gloves, surgical masks, and face shields. With our PPE inventory set, it's time to make our first daily entry. We'll check that the date is correct. We've already entered 20 for the total number of COVID-19 patients currently in our facility for day one. Next, we'll add our inventory levels for the day. In our example facility, we'll record that we have 50 boxes of gowns, 100 boxes of gloves, 20 boxes of respirators, 100 boxes of surgical masks, and 100 boxes of face shields. With our first day of data complete, we'll tap the check mark to save our entry. We'll now enter our data for our second day. We'll set the date, record the number of COVID-19 patients, and update our PPE inventory. We'll record 48 boxes of gowns, 98 boxes of gloves, 18 boxes of respirators, 98 boxes of surgical masks, and 98 boxes of face shields. With our second day of data complete, we'll tap the check mark to save our entry. We'll now enter the data for our third day, setting the date and the number of confirmed or suspected COVID-19 patients. However, unlike the past two days, we have received new shipments of PPE today and need to add them to our inventory totals. We'll put our restock in the Inventory Restocked column. Six boxes of gowns, three boxes of gloves, three boxes of respirators, 
six boxes of surgical masks, and six boxes of face shields. Before our restock came in, we had 44 boxes of gowns. But since we added six new boxes, we'll enter 50 in the total inventory column. We'll do the same for the rest of our inventory. 100 for gloves, 20 for respirators, 100 for surgical masks, and 100 for face shields. With our third day of data complete, we'll tap the check mark to save our entry. Now let's check the status to get a snapshot of our PPE burn rate, an estimated days remaining for our entire inventory. To get a complete summary report of all the information available in the NIOSH PPE Tracker app, we can go to the Report tab. The report details the facility type, the method being used to calculate the average burn rate, and the date range for the data shown. It also provides a summary table of today's current inventory levels, burn rate, and estimated days of PPE remaining. You can also scroll down for more detailed data reports. To export and share your burn rate information, tap the Share icon located at the top right of the screen. You have two options. Option 1, HTML Report Page, allows you to share the report as an HTML file. Option 2, CSV, Raw Inventory Data, creates a plain text export of the entire inventory database. Depending on the capabilities of your mobile device, sharing options can include AirDrop, email, local files, and OneDrive. The NIOSH PPE Tracker app has additional features and the option to set how to calculate the average burn rate, either by the entire data set, set by default, by rolling average, or by a selected range of dates. Tap the question mark to learn more about the different calculation methods. Also, the app allows you to make changes to your inventory by tapping Manage PPE in the settings. For more information on PPE and strategies to conserve PPE, visit the CDC COVID-19 webpage.